clear that I think, unfortunately, at the heart of this bill is an irreconcilable difference between those of us who uh, support this bill and those of us who don't. And I think the difference is this, that if you believe that it is not possible to change sex, if you believe that it is not possible to be born in the wrong body, then how do we define this concept of transgender identity? And I appreciate the Honourable Member has referred to a different bill, the Sentencing Act 2020. But unfortunately, if you read that bill, it doesn't attempt to define these terms. It certainly refers to these terms, and it talks about them as aggravating factors in assault, which, of course, they should be. And it tells the court to make account of the fact if someone has, uh, has, has used some transphobic abuse or referred to somebody as, as transgender or transsexual during assault, that should be an aggravating factor. But that isn't a definition of transgender or transgender identity. And the truth is you can't define it because it is something that is felt. And whilst people might very well feel it very strongly, if it can't be defined in law, how can we safely legislate for it? How can you ban someone from converting someone to or from transgender if you can't define transgender? And if, like me, you believe that gender ide ideology is not based on fact, it's not based on evidence, and therefore we should be telling children that they can't change sex, then we should be helping them to live happily in their own sex, however that means they want to dress, whoever, whatever hobbies they want to pursue, then how can we legislate for it if we don't think it's real? That is the problem at the heart of this bill and why we cannot safely legislate in this space and why we absolutely mustn't be putting these, uh, I'm afraid, contested and, and unevidenced ideas into law. Yeah. Yeah.